this is Kingston's lying face. Did you tell Leah to wash her toothbrush after it fell in the toilet? <laughs> no. So did you or did you not? I didn't. I'm going to keep on saying I didn't. So why did she say you did? Kingston. I don't know. What kind of frog are you Why do you look like a little frog? <laughs> so this is what happened, you guys. Leah's mad right now. We are in the middle of trying to film a Never Have I Ever vlog for y'all. And, and then Leah see. said something about Never Have I Ever Dropped My Toothbrush in the Toilet. And, and we were like, Leah just wait. just looked at her like, hold see, on. Did she just exposed herself. She said Never Have I Ever Dropped My Toothbrush in the Toilet. Yeah, but I said, why would you say that? And then she said, because I did and Kingston told me I could wash it. Look, she said I did. Yeah, she said she dropped it in the... But I don't care if she dropped the it. Point My is, point is you shouldn't have told her that she could wash I it. I didn't say that. You would tell her, just wash it, Leah. <laughs> no, That's what? why we're like, Houston. Did you tell her that? <laughs> Call her over here. Who do you believe, Houston? <laughs> do you think Kingston's lying or do you think Leah's lying? I'm not lying. Okay. She's like, yes, you did. You hear her? What happened, Houston? Nothing. Who's lying? Nothing. Leah, we were in the middle of trying to do a never have I ever challenge. Leah, Leah comes up with the question. Never have I ever dropped my toothbrush in the toilet and used it. And I was like, what? What made you say that? And then so I started drilling Kingston to ask him if this is true. And he's like, no, I would never do that. No, 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 no. So now Kingston's crying, Leah's crying, Kingston's crying, everybody's crying. Then Leah says, Mom, I, I said, why you didn't tell me when this happened? She said, because I told Mom. And I looked at Kelly and I was like, and what did you do? And Kelly was like, she never told me this. Because if she would have, I would have told her to throw it away and that we were going to buy her a new one. So I don't know who to believe. Everybody lying. I think there's a little bit of truth in all three of their stories. And there's a little bit of non-truth in all three of their stories. Either way, I gotta go to CVS and buy a new toothbrush. It's never a dull moment over here at the Luciano TV residence. And that's why I'd be like, all you gotta do is turn on the camera because we always got something going on over here. There's always something to blog about over here. You don't need to set up no challenge. Yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, let's do it right now. Tell the truth. Have you ever bit your toenails? <laughs> You need the stuff. You need the paper. We will we, we will uh, resume this vlog or challenge when we get back, you guys. Bye, boy. Have promise. you ever took a shit in the club? Stop. She got an electrical toothbrush. Oh, you fancy. See how the water is already flooded right here? No, that's the ditch right there. The water is already to the top. So if it continues to rain, if it rains tonight like it did last night, all this going to be underwater, all this whole street. It looks like y'all going to have to swim to school tomorrow. Okay. What about we don't go to school? What about we don't go to school? <laughs> <sighs> How about we don't go to school? Look, our lake ain't filled up yet. Shoot, it's getting there. It's pretty tall. What's up, man? Now, before I, uh, we get this video started, I wanted to, as people be asking all the time, would we ever consider doing a reality show or a real show on TV? And the answer probably, most likely, no. And the reason for that is we are in control. We own this, we can edit it how we want to. You ain't finna have us out there looking stupid or making dumb faces or crazy looking like ways we don't wanna look. We're in control of everything. And once you start doing real shows on TV, they in control. So 
No, you probably are not going to see Luciano TV on cable. So if you want to see Luciano TV, subscribe right now. Because this is the only place you finna see that real deal, non-scripted, unfiltered entertainment. Luciano TV. You watching the realest channel on the planet. Now, today, she wanted to do the never have I ever challenge or game or whatever y'all want to call it. Like it was pressing me about vlogging today. And, and I didn't want to do this. But. I didn't want to vlog all over the place. Our day, our day is like basically kind of boring today because it's been raining, like I said. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm trying not to interrupt her as much because when I be editing the vlogs, I always see how she be talking and then I cut her off and start talking and then I see her eyes and her reaction like this nigga did it again. <laughs> Okay, so you go first. Let me see. Never have I ever lied on a job application. I have not. I don't have a job. Mm, I gotta say I have. I don't think I lied on the application, but I did lie on my resume, so. I don't think I ever filled out a job application. I probably have. I think I, I, think I have filled out a job application when I was probably like 16 or 17 years old. I had a job for like two weeks working at the car wash. Oh, I didn't know that about you. It, yeah, it was so. It was like whenever you had, a, you're in high school and you, and you had co-op where you could leave half a day. Yeah. So that's why I had to get a job so I could leave half a day, and I got a job at the car wash. And man, this is why I tip my people at the car wash because I was the person that would go put the wipe the tires down, and then the people would be looking over me like you missed a spot. You know what I'm saying? And I'd be pissed. I'd be like, man, and looking over my shoulder. And I hate when they be standing right over me looking at me. And then they give me like a dollar tip, and I'd be like, damn. And I see happy when I get a five dollar tip. After I got my first paycheck, it was like hundred and twenty dollars for like two weeks of work. And I never went back. I, was, I, caught, I cashed that one check and I said, I'm done. But I still got to leave school early. They didn't know that I quit. And I will say, we tried to make these questions as juicy as possible, but... We had know, to make them kid-friendly. Yeah, because we do know that we have a family channel, so, you know... Because I was going to get them, like... Bear with us, because it was a little hard just because we were trying to keep it kind of rated, but at the same rated time, G. entertaining. Because I was thinking of some rated R questions I could have had up on Oh, it. this is a good one. Never have I ever done karaoke. We both have. You better raise your hand. Your answer. I have. I have done karaoke. <laughs> when did? What song did you sing? <laughs> Selena. I had to go for Selena. It's oh yeah, y'all did. Because they forced us into going up there. We didn't want to go, and we were like, "Well, there's no other song that we both know." Like, what's hey, the word? I'm gonna put a clip in here of Goatos doing karaoke. <laughs> I still got it in my phone. Goatos so, up there singing, "My girl, my girl." my girl. <laughs> And we all went like it was like me and Angie, and then it was you and Tony and go to you guys. And I was singing Baby Got Back. I went up there and said, Baby Got Back. You guys. <laughs> hey, and I and I that's the only the only knew the first two lines of the song and then I did not and I was trying to read it but it was going so fast and mind you I had been drinking all night. It was my birthday. So I was drinking and I was trying to sing and I was messing up all the words and this lady came and ran on stage. <laughs> this white lady ran on stage and started, started dancing and singing it. She was like, oh, I couldn't let you mess it up. So she started, she had my back. She no, I'm not going to lie. That was like one of the funnest moments on the cruise, you guys, because both him and Tony were up there clueless <laughs> Tony, about the lyrics. Tony didn't know what he was singing. He, and Tony went up there singing Two Life Crew. Oh, me so horny. <laughs> Sitting you guys, at home and then, watching Arsenio Hall. Oh no! All right. All right. Let's get on to the next question. Did you mix them up? Yeah. Never have I ever took a dump in the club. That was his question, you guys. You ever took a shit in the club? Tell the truth. It's a dump, babe. I stop, Houston. He's a little drummer. I ain't gonna lie. I have. I have not. Once or twice. I think I have. I have not. That is disgusting, you guys. That is so gross. Like, it happens. What were you thinking? I probably got to the. I mean, it's only happened probably like 
once, maybe twice in my whole life. And I probably got there and I had probably ate right before I got there. And then I got there and then I was like, man, I got to take a dump. <laughs> so I probably went up in there and dropped it real quick and walked out like nothing happened. And it was still the flyest Mexican in the club. Oh, God. No, you guys. Honestly, like I can't even. I don't even. My stomach doesn't work like that. My digestive system does not work like that. Like I don't feel comfortable taking a dump anywhere other than home. Oh, when I got to go, I got to go. No. So, yeah, that was my answer. I'm next, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Never have I ever sharded. So, for those who don't know what sharding is. Y'all know what sharding on, is. I didn't know what sharding was for the longest until I met this one right here. I am not. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I have. <laughs> And you're alive, but you say you have, so you never no, started. You never, never tried to fart in some little shit. No. A little turtle stuck his head out the shell. <laughs> so let me explain what sharding is. They know. So basically, if you've ever farted. It happened to me when I was at school. And the whole thing came out. It was like, I, I was walking up the stairs at school. <laughs> you I was in high school. I was in high yeah. school, and I just went and got me some tacos in the morning. And then... I ain't gonna lie, I smoked after I ate the tacos, you know what I'm saying? And that just made my digestive oh, system God. make it want to push it out, I guess. I don't know, but I was walking into school. I was already late, missed first period, because I went to go get the tacos and smoke. And then when I'm walking up the stairs in my first period class, nobody was in the hallway because everybody's in their classrooms because I'm late. So I'm walking up the stairs to go to my class, and I was like, let me just push this little fart out real quick because ain't nobody in here. And I just felt it. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then, so I just turned my ass back around, walked out to school, and left. And I, I was with my cousin, too. My cousin Angel was with me. I was like, say, bro, we got to go. And he was like, why? Uh, he was like, we just got here. I was like, man, no, we got to go right now. We got to go. And he was like, why? I said, man, I'll tell you when we get in the car. Let's go. And so we left. We got in the car. And I was like, this who I worked with him at the car wash. So we would leave together at 12 to go to the car wash. And I told him, hey, man, we got to go right now. And so he was like, why? And we get in the car, I told him, I said, man, I took a shit on myself. And then he just laughed so hard the whole way home. And then I get there and I had to take a shower and change. And I was like, man, my bad. Okay, you're next. That was gross. I keep it real over here, man. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> this is her question. Never have I farted and said it was someone else. You told me to write that. Damn, I did? Yes. Well, yes, I have. I do it all the time. I blame it on Houston. No, I have not. So, the next one is my turn. Never have I ever peed in the pool. Let's just all be honest. I don't think I have. I have. I have not. Why are you lying? You've never even tinkled in the pool? No, nah, what is the difference between peeing and tinkling? It's, I mean, I feel like everybody's done it in their lifetime. I used to do it all the time when I was a kid. <coughs> Maybe when I was real young, I have. And but like, as an adult, I always try and hold it. I thought you were talking about as an adult. Well, when you were a kid, yeah, everybody pees in the pool. Yes, I have. Okay. Never have I ever lied to my partner. No, baby, I'll never lie to you. Uh, what you lie to me about? I think I have, but it's been like an innocent lie, maybe. Like what? Like a little white lie? Yeah. Like what? I owe you one then. I don't know. Which one? I owe you a little white lie. I don't know. I just, I feel like I'd be lying if I said I've never lied to you. Yeah, well... You know? Because I can't think off the top of my head if I've lied to you. But I feel like <coughs> you lied to everybody once in your lifetime. I lied to her one time. I bought her this purse and she thought it was real. And it was a fake. You guys, he bought me a <laughs> fake purse. So I know how to check if it's real. Man, but listen, <laughs> it was more like someone gave me this. It was, I, I just happened to have a, a purse just fell into my hands. You know what I'm saying? And it was when we first met. So I was like, hey, you want this purse? No, you guys, so I know how to tell if it's real or not. Um, Everybody know how to tell. They got serial numbers, but it wasn't so like... So, anyways, when he gave it to me, I was like, oh, my God. I was so surprised because I was like, damn, I guess it's real. You know, he got me a real purse. Anyways, when I went home that night, I was looking at it, and then I was like, oh, <laughs> he's wrong. He's wrong for uh -uh. this. No, so let me tell you what happened. 
<laughs> we were going to shoot a video, and the video was called Two Peas in a Backpack. And they wanted to see, they wanted some designer backpacks for the video. So I wasn't going to spend no $2,000 on a backpack just for a video. So I called up my boy that I knew that sold back backpacks and purses and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I met him at a, at a, a barber shop or somewhere. I forgot where I met him. Anyway, it was on the Southwest somewhere. So when I went over there to get the backpack for the video, he was there had purses. He was like, yo, I'll give you this uh, purse too. I was like, man, I don't know. But he was like trying to make a deal. So I was like, all right, bet. So they gave me that and the backpack for a sweet deal. And I was like, Kelly Jean, I think she'll like this purse. <laughs> so I was like, hey. Who wouldn't? I really so, thought it was a designer purse. <laughs> so I was like, look, baby, I got you some. And then I gave it to her, and I didn't think nothing about it. You know what Yo, I'm saying? Yo, the worst part is the kids were there when he gave it to me. So I'm opening my gift in front of the kids. and They were not. Yes, Gigi was standing right there looking at me. I don't remember. You were like, go in the closet. I have something for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I put it in her closet. No, we were together. We just didn't live together yet. Oh, yeah. So that was like the first item of mine in my closet. That was See, I was telling her, get comfortable, baby. This is your closet. <laughs> I, I put something in your closet. Uh, and then she went and moved all her stuff into that closet. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Oh, was I next? Doesn't even matter. Never have I ever went two days without taking a shower. Oh, hell no. I probably went two days, but I ain't went three days. <laughs> have you? No, I have not. So, I'll go like... Like, let's say I don't shower today, I will shower tomorrow later on during the evening. So does that count as two days? That's like gross. I got to Not take... right now as a grown-up, but oh. maybe like when I was wilding out, partying and stuff. Ew, like... a little stanky little ratchet. <laughs> oh, boy, don't act like you weren't sitting here when we were writing the questions telling me how you... <laughs> I take a shower every morning I no, wake up. Nowadays he does take a shower. Every morning I wake up, I gotta he take a shower. He probably takes like two, three showers a day, which and, drives well, in, me crazy. In the morning and at night, I take me. I gotta be clean, man. <laughs> Never have I ever fell asleep at church. Oh, I have. Stop, Ethan. I have not. I can't go to sleep at you church. See, I have. I used to always go to sleep, especially like on my mom's shoulder. I would just lay there like this, and then she would be like, "Levantate." So I am guilty of it. All right. Next question. Never have I ever left a restaurant without paying. I have not. You never door, I mean, uh, dine and dashed? No. No, but you know what? I will say this. Um, I did, not at a restaurant, but at a no shop. <laughs> like, I went with my friend and they told me they had, they were going to pay for my set or whatever. And so then I ended up leaving the no shop before they did. And they were the last ones to get out. And by the time, by this time, I was already in the car. And then I just see her running. And I'm like, why are you running? And then I just see the Chinitas running after her. So we had You know what? When I did it, it was at Chinese people too. <laughs> I don't, not nothing against Chinese people. You know but what I'm they will run after you. That, hey, we was at a Chinese buffet. <laughs> Me, my boy Slugger, and Sin. And it was a bunch of us there eating at a buffet, Chinese buffet. And we was all like, who finna pay? Who finna pay? It was a long time ago. We all decided to walk out one by one. And Sin was the last one to walk out. And the Chinese lady grabbed him and was like, where you go? You don't pay. You don't pay. <laughs> and I don't remember what happened. All I know is I was outside in the parking lot already by that time. That's what happened. Was that the last question? No, we got one more. Never have I ever cheated on a test. Oh, man. Oh, you know I cheated on a test. I have. I have. That's how I passed algebra. I think I cheated a lot in middle school. I still was trying to pass in high school. But then when it just got too hard and too overwhelming, I was like, I'm going to be a rapper. I ended up getting my GED at 16, and then it was on from there. I started working, and I even got me a train. But I did go to college after that, after my GED. So kudos well, that's to good. me. I went to college. I didn't even get my GED. Two years of college, you guys, but college is so hard, so um, huge shout out to y'all if y'all are in college and y'all are watching this. I know the struggle is real, you guys. So, this concludes our Never Have I Ever Challenge. We really hope y'all liked it. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. 
Thank you for playing this with me. Before we go, before we get up out of here, we want to give some birthday shout outs today, man. Shout out to Alba C. We really don't know how to pronounce your last Alba name. Alba Keladon. <laughs> Celadon. Something like that. Happy birthday, girl. I From know. your husband. I know you're, th you're turning, wait. 31. You're turning 31. Today. Two days. And then also, Nayona turning seven years old from Baytown, Texas. Hey. Happy birthday. So we appreciate y'all for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Stay down. We will be back. Forever in a day. Man, I'm forever gonna be this fly, man.